This is Twist. It's an all new insulin pump that is releasing in the United States in quarter two of this year, which I mean, that's like in a month or two. So I got to speak with the CEO all about this pump. This pump works with an Apple Watch, it works an iPhone, and its algorithm derives from the open source community. It is an exciting pump. It's an exciting day that this is coming out. Twist announced that its first CGM on launch would be the Libre 3 Plus, so I asked about that. We also got into access and how this pump will be provided through pharmacy benefits, making it a more accessible insulin pump than others on the market. Also, we're at ATTD, that's a conference in Europe. So I even asked about whether or not this pump will go worldwide after the US. Let's get into it. Alan, it's great to have you back on the show. I think it's been, you said it was eight months Something since we talked to us. Okay. It has to be, had to be after ATTD because we were not talking to anyone before ATTD last year. Okay, well a lot has happened and some exciting news is that Twist is coming Twist is quarter coming two of this, Q2 year of this year to the US. To the US. Amazing. So there are a bunch of things that I feel like we didn't dive super deep into a few things last time we spoke and some new announcements that I want to get into. So sure. the first one is one of your latest announcements was that on launch, you're going to support the Libre 3 Plus CGM. That's correct. Tell us about that. So our goal ultimately is, is to make as much choice in as much places, as many places for, for patients. Abbott were spectacular partners and, and worked really rapidly with us. So we were able to get all the integrations done, um, all the appropriate you know, validation and verification done you know, very expeditiously. Libre 3 Plus devices, the way they're built is that they only connect to one device. Okay. So the CGM is going to connect directly to the pump but I know your pump is also cleared for children, six and up, right? Yeah. I know parents, it's very important for them to be able to follow their children's numbers. Yeah. So how have you navigated that with this CGM? Is there a way for parents to Yeah, to so we involved? have a separate Twist Inside app that okay. allows pay, uh, parents or other caregivers or loved ones be given access to uh, the insulin, battery life, glucose data of whoever they're following. Yeah, I like those choice of words because I know there's a lot of discussion over whose CGMs, uh, uh, whose data is it? Is it the children's data, you know, to give to their parents? And um, so I know that's a pretty sensitive thing. Well, the children um, go up, right? Yeah, and, yeah, right. And I don't know that uh, as a parent, yes, your child grows up and they're an adult, which they're definitely it's their data then, but I don't know that I would, you know, I would still not want to just kind of be sure. Yeah, yeah. So, of course, your algorithm, Twist Loop, originates from the open source community, right? The, the, the DIY loop in that community, right? And something that's very important to that community is interoperability and having as much choice in pumps, CGMs, and, and even al algorithm. When it comes to CGM, what was the decision making coming with only one CGM partner at launch? So it's a great question. And I, I wouldn't say it was, it was anything other than you can only do so much work at once. Right, you know, the, the, when we do, because of the way we architect this, CGM talks directly to the pump, which means we want to have a single, or in the case of Abbott, we want to have a simple uh, user interface so that you're not going to multiple places. So we had to do a fair amount of, of work to be able to integrate all of the appropriate um, controls so that it would be a seamless experience for individuals living with diabetes. So, and you, can't, you just can't do everything at once. Or you can, but you just delay launch. So it is absolutely our intent to work with as many CGM partners as we can over time. Parenthetically, we may also love to have multiple algorithms available to people when we can find ones that materially offer more choice for people. So. We're totally supportive of, of that, you know, similarly with infusion sets, right? We have at least two right now that are on our, on our instructions for use, our user guide. We're going to be adding more. We have a proprietary infusion set that's currently with the FDA. So we're really looking, again, creating choice, simplifying the experience, making it easy, making things intuitive, taking advantage of the absolute newest technologies. Th that's kind of what we're thinking about. Yeah, and to your point of how the CGM speaks directly to the pump, what I really like about that is as someone who comes from open source or uses open source apps, 
the one thing missing is I can't leave my phone in the other room. So I've been experimenting with other systems that that have that direct connection, like Twist, and it's given me a sense of freedom back. So so I'm happy to hear that that's the way you've kind of integrated them. What about the adhesive? I know that uh, last time we spoke, you mentioned there's a few ways to wear this. You yeah. can clip it, you can pocket it, or you can use like an adhesive. Yeah. I was told that at launch, the adhesive won't be there. What was kind of what's kind of going on with that? So, what do you expect? Again, the same thing. You want to get the best. Like. We wanted to launch with something that we really liked. And as you know, there are a lot of adhesives out there. You gotta get, adhesives are interesting. I, I've learned more about adhesives <laughs> than I ever thought I would know. But in addition to the, the actual chemistry of the adhesive, there's geometry. And how you organize the, the different adhesives. Because what you think about, what do you want an adhesive to do? You want it to stick quickly, you want it to stay sticky, but then you want it to come off. Like, it, that, you know, it sounds like, oh, it's just, it's just glue. Yeah, it ain't just glue. And so how you, how you organize the different types of adhesives that are on, this, on the adhesive, the geometry of the adhesive, all matters. And we wanted to get that right. So we have what we think is a really, really good solution coming very quickly after launch um, that will simplify, simplify the ability to wear on body. Fantastic. This episode is sponsored by Omnipod. So far this year, I've taken about 15 flights, so I know a thing or two when it comes to packing for type 1 diabetes. One thing I love about Omnipod 5 is that all the supplies come in one small convenient package. No additional packages to remember for tubing or infusion sets, which helps me travel with confidence and ease. See if you're eligible for a 30-day trial by visiting omnipod.com slash diabetech. On there, you'll see full safety and risk information and trial terms. Again, that's omnipod.com slash diabetech. We didn't dive super deep into the occlusion technology in Twist last time we spoke, and some pretty cool stuff. Can you kind of tell us a little bit about how that works? Well, like, what are the mechanics yeah. and kind of what it offers um, that, that other systems don't? Yeah. So the first important point is there are no mechanics. Okay. Right? So what this system does that no other system does is every time it delivers a, a micro dose of insulin, it measures precisely how much it was given every single time. So if it's giving it every minute, it measures every minute. If it gives every five minutes, it measures every five minutes. And the way we measure that is I'm sure you've blown over a Coke bottle and you've made a tone. And then you drank a little bit of the Coke or drank a little bit of the beer and blew again and you made another tone. The physics of that is remarkable. In fact, the physics are so complicated that Isaac Newton, not the dumbest guy in the world, couldn't figure out, because essentially that's a church organ. He couldn't figure out how church organs work. Every other musical instrument he defined. If you go through the math, what, what it really matters is if you have a rigid cylinder, it's the height of the air column. How much fluid is there, doesn't matter. It's the height of the air column. So essentially inside the twist measurement chamber, we have a little resonant chamber. And what we do is there's a, a deformable membrane. So before we let any insulin in, we measure how much air is in there. We let some insulin in, we measure it again, and then we open the valve to the patient and it goes out. And then we close the valve and we measure it again. And so now all I do is subtract how much air was here and here full and empty. The difference is how much I delivered. And because we're using acoustic waves that are in the kilohertz, thousand hertz per second, thousand vibrations per second, we can do those measurements at literally fractions of a millionth of a liter of accuracy. Okay, so big deal. Nice physics experiment, great science, cool technology. Who the cares? <laughs> and you care for the simple reason is if when I measure it the, the second time and the last time, and there's no change, well, I know that no insulin got delivered. Now, I am not gonna alarm that very second because maybe you're laying on it. Like, there's a million reasons why you get transient occlusion. But on average, at 19 minutes, 19 minutes. Not 20, 19. 19. <laughs> IFU, you, gotta be honest. We will let you know that there's an occlusion. Okay. The important point there is that we can give you, you think about it, every person living with diabetes is going to have one or more hyperglycemic events every month. And they're gonna go through that thought process. Is there something wrong with my pump? Is there something wrong with my sight? Did I do something wrong? And so 
Today, we can tell you confidently your pump is working. Mm -hmm. We're thinking about some ways about telling you about your site too, but we're not there yet. I that was gonna be my next question. I, I would assume that you know, you're measuring it all the time and you can tell like, oh, there's a little pushback, whatever, but then all of a sudden, oh wow, the insulin's really going through. It could be that the site is, has fallen off. Yeah, so what we do differently, and we're actually not measuring pressure. We're never measuring pressure because when you measure pressure, you have to build up a lot of pressure before you alarm and so much pressure that it takes a long time. And you know, that's okay. why when we say we alarm between you know, up to nine times faster, it can take up to nine times as long to generate enough pressure with a total occlusion to uh, recognize an alarm. I think what you're describing is we, we do, we, do uh, we're, we are able to measure lots of other flow characteristics mm -hmm. and we're analyzing right now what we can learn from those. So I'm not quite ready to okay. talk about it, but let's just say by understanding how the flow goes, we believe there's a lot of things that we can, we can learn. Amazing. Does, for, for alerts, does the pump vibrate? So no, but it makes noise. All, um, all noise, it okay. Makes noise. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Um, so I think what was very exciting to hear about this system was, at least in the US, how accessible it could be. And that's because you're going through Pharmacy Benefit Manager. That's right. And I have my own experience with that using my tubeless pump. I can, I can go get a month's supply. It's, it's pretty easy to get started. Tell me a little bit about how people who are gonna use this pump, what that experience is gonna be like when they wanna start trying it. So, so there's, we have two, essentially two, two kits. Because okay. right, we tried to make this simple for everyone. So the first kit, starter kit, right, has a pump, two batter, uh, four batteries, two battery chargers, because they're rechargeable batteries. We're not throwing stuff away all the time. So two chargers, one at home, one at work, and four batteries, so you always have. Oh, I like the excellent. two chargers. Yeah. yeah, one at home, one at work. One that's, at work. Real, that's really good. <laughs> um, then also in, wow. in, the, in, the, in the kit is, 10 cassettes, because that's what we throw away every day, because the pump gets, can be uh, reused, or sh should be reused. Mm -hmm. we throw the, so we give the 10 cassettes, 10 infusion sets, wipes, alcohol wipes, pads, etc. Okay. So that's the starter kit. The, every monthly kit is everything I just told you, except the pump and the batteries. So if you've gone to a pharmacy and you've gotten a prescription, you have experienced what it will be like to go to the pharmacy and get a refill prescription for Twist. Okay. So what if someone just got a pump with a four-year contract and they like it, but, but then they see Twist and they're like, well, I want to try that. Can they of try course. that? And it's the same experience. They're same experience. With, with their insurance company. They'll, they'll kind of be okay with same trying out a new pump. Yep. I mean, that is accessible tech. It's the same, it's the same, uh, same as you see now with other people on the pharmacy benefit. There's no upfront cost, okay. there's no barrier to trying. So our position would be just try it. Okay, right? and tell me more about that. You said no upfront cost. Is that because you are giving some sort of credit on that initial starter kit? Kind of what is that? So what we're doing is we have a program and, and it, there's a lot of fine prints in it, so I'm not gonna try to go. But basically yep. we're trying to say it's everyone, everyone who gets a prescription written in one way, shape, or form will get the will get a starter kit. And whether it's for a copay or it might be I think the I think the highest you could pay is fifty bucks. And that's if you're in your deductible phrase, and we don't need to get into the details yeah. of pharmacy benefits. But in general, we're trying to make that first starter kit as cheap as possible, irrespective of your coverage. Although I will say, on launch, we will have far better coverage, I think, than anyone's ever had. So we have all four of the major pharmacy benefit managers either on or very close to launch on their commercial, right, their commercial books of business. We're working through Medicaid and, um, and Medicare contracts now. Underneath all of those big PBMs are often what are called custom formularies. So the national insurers, United Healthcare, Aetna, Cigna, and we have all of those either on or very close to launch. Um, of the Blue Cross Blue Shield plans, we have more than half of them already committed on or very close to launch. So we will have substantial coverage for people, makes it super easy for them just to go to the pharmacy and get, get, re get renewals and refills. Okay. What, what insulins are approved? Uh, Humalog and Novolog. Okay, fantastic. Are you looking at 
eventually bringing on other formularies like the, the uh, ultra rapids? Yeah, so we're looking at a, a, a number of different insulins and we, what we want to understand first is because um, of the nature of this device and, and the ability to very precisely feed in the amount of insulin that's in, that was delivered into the algorithm precisely with, you know, we, we want to see what the potential benefit is. So we'll do some in silico modeling of a, a slightly more rapid acting insulin um, but we're looking at a number of different a number of different insulin products. Okay, so U.S. only at launch. Are you? I mean, you're at ATT. We're at ATTD right now. This is a European conference. Many Europeans here. Why do you come to ATTD? Are you looking to expand beyond the U.S.? Is that you know? Are you trying to start meeting some people and making those connections? Is that why you're here? No, I like Amsterdam. <laughs> You what? I you like Amsterdam? Like Amsterdam. No, no, but obviously okay. no. <laughs> we are we are we are pursuing um, XUS. It's a long process. We've just started it, so I don't even have dates yet. But yeah. but we started the process. Okay. Well, it's great to see you here. Thank you for for coming on the show, for speaking with me, telling me all about this. I'm very excited about it. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Justin. I am back here in New York now. ATTD was simply incredible. So much happened. I got to see so many of my colleagues and I got to go to all the booths and so much news dropped this year. In fact, we have a full episode with David on. Uh, he's another tech geek. He's an endo. We go over all of the biggest announcements. So you'll want to listen to that episode next. It's on the podcast and it was the last episode. So go listen to that now. What do you think of the twist pump? Let me know in the comments on YouTube. Are you going to try it out? Especially since it is so easy to, the fact that you could just try it out for a month, see how you like it, and then if you don't like it, move on. If you do, hold on to it. I, I, I think that moving toward pharmacy benefit manager with all of these pump companies is, is a huge thing, and it's great to see that a tubed pump is now doing that. Hopefully other companies will follow suit. We have got a bunch more content on my channel about the twist pump if you want to learn even more. We've got a full interview with Alan Lotvin, the CEO, from this conversation. Just a much longer conversation going over the pump. You'll learn even more about it. I also got to see the pump in person and get a demo of the iPhone app and the Apple Watch app. That is my first look video. You can find all of these links will be in the show notes. And lastly, on my blog, diabetech.info, we've got a full article on the twist pump and you'll want to read that it's got a lot of great information and while you're there make sure you sign up for our newsletter it goes out twice a month and it lets you know all of the latest announcements in diabetes tech news and research and all of the updates on our content what our new videos are so thanks for tuning in as always make sure you subscribe and like this video i'm justin and i'll see you next week